show starts in
Howdy there, folks. I hope you are doing great wherever you are in the world today. I am your lovable host, the artist, the author, and coach for the creative mind, John Morris. And welcome to The Artist Heart Live, the only show that is pure electricity from start to finish for your 30 minutes plus on a Friday afternoon. Folks, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal week. It has been a phenomenal, phenomenal week. Um, and I am delighted to be back with you today. The weather finally broke here in Scotland. We've had some rain. The grass, the flowers, everything is just delighted for it. And, uh, and I have to say, I sleep a whole lot better when uh, when it's not absolutely boiling hot sunshine. Although you guys in the um, Americas and Australia would probably think we're kind of wimpy uh, because uh, it really does get quite hot. It's unseasonably warm here. But it is great to have you with us watching our little show here once more. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in an hour of struggle, an hour of difficulty, or just to bring a smile on their face. Plus... It is the only way that YouTube recognizes our little video and pushes up our algorithm um, so other people can see as well. But now that all the housekeeping is out of the way, we are going to present the Stellar Rock 30-minute action-packed show for you. As we look, uh, we go way back in time, of course, and we present to you another phenomenal artist. In our feature this week, I will be presenting to you a, a painting filled with life, light, and color, and so much more that's going to be happening. We've got the lighter side of the news, of course, which uh, is getting harder and harder to find these days. I guess there's just not that many funny stories out there. Who knows? We may need to switch to doing funny videos of pets, because there are a ton of them. And speaking of pets, did you guys get to see on Instagram this previous week, uh, Cooper, when he was sleeping on the sofa, his fangs were out, the teethies are out, and, and they just looked absolutely adorable, and it was tremendous, tremendous. Tremendous fun. We've had a brilliant week here in Scotland, um, taking Gran to uh, various hospital appointments, spending time with her. Well, the in-laws are away on holiday. Uh, Katie and I have just been spending time together, re-siliconing the door. Uh, also working on my new book that's going to be coming out later on this year. More on that to come. Uh, what else have we been doing? I feel like this week has just literally vanished once more. Can you believe it? We are coming towards the end of August. My sister-in-law, who is a uh, teacher in a, in a school, uh, obviously, um, she goes back to work, I believe, on Thursday this week. And then the kids go back the following Monday. Um, so it literally, the six-week holiday has vanished like that. But I hope you've had a fantastic summer wherever you are. And we're getting ready to rock and roll as we present to you not only the Artist Heart Live, not only Art Tips with John on a Tuesday, um, but also the battles we all face on Wednesdays. And if you guys missed the show this past week, we had Victor Antonio on the Legendary Sales Guru. Um, so go and check that out because it's an absolutely phenomenal show that we actually recorded I think nearly close to a year or two ago, Victor is one of my heroes. I got to meet him. I got to hang out with him. And um, it was tremendous. I thoroughly, thoroughly loved it. But we're going to move on, folks. As we present to the lighter side of the news, we're going to keep the energy going and flowing and rocking and rolling. Um, and uh, we're going to swing on over now and present the lighter side of the news to you. Let's see what funnies happen to be in the news this week, shall we? Well, folks, I don't know if all of these stories class as particularly funny or lighter side of the news, but they definitely run the gauntlet for weird and wonderful things that are uh, certainly taking up our headlines right now. And, of course, this week's uh, lighter side of the news segment is presented by Metro, and I want to thank them for providing the stories. Uh, first story here, folks, a really bizarre one. They didn't know until I uh, start to see it. Uh, again, another example of global warming. If if this heat wave hits 42 degrees, bees may ejaculate themselves to death. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, it's one more thing to worry about in the heat wave that we're facing is the gruesome death of honeybees who have been found to suffer a difficult fate when it gets too hot. Research reveals that they li literally can ejaculate themselves to death in the extreme heat. When the male worker bees are subjected to very high temperatures, their bodies begin to convulse, which forces them to ejaculate their abdominal sized penis equivalent out of their body and they die from shock. To the uh, casual onlooker, it may look like the bee spontaneously exploded, uh, but new research has shown there as bizarre sexual components to this final act. How bizarre. So thankfully, the weather 
weather has broken here. We are sitting at a very comfortable 21 degrees today and the rain is coming down. So hopefully, God willing, we have no more bees that are going to be, uh, well, that, that are going to have some problems. Um, but talking about things about sex and of a sexual nature, if you're a little bit sensitive, I do apologize. Um, but man suffers 100 erections a day and his girlfriend says there is no rest. A woman has spoke out about her unusual sex life, saying her boyfriend has up to 100 erections a day and it's tiring her out. I can't say I'm surprised. Morrison's a supermarket queue and then since then have enjoyed a highly passionate relationship. But Vicky says her passionate erections are so frequent that they can happen anytime, such as going in the shop or going for a cup of coffee. Uh, Lucas even went to a doctor about it, but was told it wasn't a medical issue. I can understand how this would be difficult, and well, in fact, you'd be glad to know I can't understand how this would be difficult, you know, to to uh, to deal your daily life with. Um, it just sounds quite honestly like an over uh, an over sensuous, um, sensitive part of the body. Um, but yes, absolutely, that's. Um, <laughs> That's bizarre, um, for sure, and uh, and I hope for the young gentleman Lucas Martins um, that uh, you know that this is a, a a phase and it's not something that is going to be going on long term. Uh, let's move forward, shall we? Uh, an angry man plans to turn a huge pothole into a lake to stop the school run. Um, parents are absolutely furious, and a furious homeowner uh, plans to turn a massive hole, pothole he dug up into a lake to stop parents on the school run, pulling up from outside his house. Yes, this is not the first time that I've heard about angry people getting really, really frustrated and wang wound up because of... Um, the school run, uh, where we used to live in Troon, there would be cars literally everywhere from anywhere from about 8.45 in the morning through to about 9.15, and it meant trying to get out absolutely insane. Plus, people would be parking in our driveway and so much. So I can understand completely how Derek Woodacre... Um, that he has more plans for the future, and he doesn't care about set upsetting people. I think if there was a balance that was there, and there was actual communication that happened, hopefully they'll be able to find a uh, some common ground and a solution to this problem. Uh, but yes, I, I've seen from both points of view, um, yeah, and, and it just doesn't end well for anybody. Again, when you're against something, it's only going to weaken you. When you're for something, you, you become empowered and strengthened. And in our final story today, this, this was a really strange one. Man woke up to go for a pee to find that he was in a coffin and he had been sacrificed. Yes, you heard me right. A man had been sacrificed, Victor Hugo... You can't make this stuff up, folks. If you know your history, Victor Hugo, yes. Um, but a terrified festival goer says he was being offered as a human sacrifice to Mother Earth after he woke up trapped in a coffin following a drinking binge. Now, he had to smash out of the uh, casket, by the way, um, in Bolivia. And he'd been drinking heavily the night before at the grand opening of the Mother Earth Festival, uh, where indigenous people offer everything from live animals and sheep uh, to sweets and cocoa leaves for the goddess who believes they open their mouth harvest offering. We're thankful to Mother Earth um, for that. Um, but yes, this is, uh, again, you know, <laughs> very bizarre. And Victor claims he was among the human sacrifices some fear are still offered in the ancient styles rituals to satisfy it. It, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of beliefs that people have. Um, some warranted, some rather bizarre, but the very, very literal-minded closeness that a lot of people hold to these beliefs. And I was speaking with a friend of mine, you know, recently this past week, who I admire a lot. I've, you know, he, you know, we've gone through a lot together, and um, the close-mindedness that that he had uh, exemplified, should we say, or, or, or that he had shown, he had presented—that's the word I'm looking for—was um, uh, a little concerning more than anything else. Again, I live my my life by having a mind that's open to everything and close to nothing, uh, and I think sometimes it's important that you can hear information, but you don't necessarily listen to it. And that's a completely different thing. But folks, now that we have done the lighter side of the news or the bizarre side of the news, because these were very, very bizarre today, what was your what 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 was the thing that surprised you most? Was it the man waking up and finding out he was a human sacrifice? A hundred erections a day. I dread to think if anyone can beat that and if they can, uh, well, yeah. Um the bee ejaculating itself to death. 
Um, or the the man in Wigan uh, planning to turn a pothole into a lake to stop the schoolroom. What surprised you the most? Did any of them surprise you? Comment in the section below and let us know. And with that out of the way, I think it's time for some art. So sit back and enjoy this.
Oh, Maddie. Maddie, I was just napping. I Oops. <laughs> it's a mess, Dada. But look, the bright colors and squiggly lines. It kind of reminds me of a painting I saw in my book by the great artist Jackson Pollock. Really? Like, like a great artist? Here it is, Dada. Isn't it beautiful? It's called Enchanted Forest. Oh, oh, oh. I like the crazy lines and the blobs of color. I don't see any brush strokes, and it looks so complicated. Hmm, I wonder how he painted it. Let's go find out! <laughs> Ooh! Dada, Dada! We didn't go anywhere! We're still here! Hey, how you doing? I'm Jackson Pollock, and where am I? I'm Dada, and this is Maddie. <laughs> I'm so excited to have Mr. Jackson Pollock right here in my art room! Call me Jackson. I was just about to do a performance in my barn studio. I could do it here instead. You mean paint? I don't paint with an easel. You paint on the, the floor? Yeah, it's so big on the floor I can walk around it and work from all sides. Wow, I like the idea of painting on a canvas on the floor. I don't have enough paints. You can use mine. <laughs> that won't be enough. But I have lots back home in my barn studio. We can go get them, and we'll come right back. <laughs> I have a cold. Oh, nothing works properly today. I don't know what it's doing. Whoa! My paints! Great! I'll also need tools and equipment. You mean brushes? The recombiner, Dada! It's breaking! <laughs> Thank you, recombiner. Uh, that's enough. Uh, thanks so much. It's giving us junk. Garbage. <laughs> Strange. Oops. Sorry, Dada. Hey, thanks. There's my equipment. What? You need all this, uh, stuff for painting? I use brushes like sticks to stir and pour the paint onto the canvas. Wow, awesome. He pours it and drips it and stirs it. He uses everything to put the paint on. And he gets right into the painting. Yes, into the paint. <laughs> Dada, where are we? I don't know, but uh, kind of like it. It looks familiar. Uh, my sneezes, <laughs> uh, they're throwing everything off today. Mr. Jackson, I think we're inside your painting. The one you're doing right now. It sure looks like it. And what do you call this kind of painting? Some people call what I do action painting. It's a little like performing a piece of music or maybe a, a play or something. But I don't usually get this into the painting. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Yes, it is amazing. I'm a Let's go! We're going to fall! Run! Da -da. Oh, wow! Keep running! Jump! We're stuck! This blob is kind of wet! Dada, we have to get out! I uh, don't know uh, how! Uh, Let's go! This gallery is showing some of my paintings. Jackson, that's in my book, too. 
The painting covers the whole big wall. I call it blue poles. It's almost like those blue poles in the middle are like people lined up across an old painting. Mm, the food is great. <laughs> and the music. And the paintings. Wow. So beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I better finish my painting. I want to do an action painting, too. Yes, yes, the doll. Wow, me too. Wow, you put everything in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is fun. A new doll, day, a new dream. Huh? No sneeze. My cold is gone! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, snacks and cocktail weenies! Yeah, thanks, Dada. Thanks, Dada. Thanks for showing us action painting, Jackson. Hey, kiddo, you're welcome. <laughs> now that's action painting. And I think it'll keep him from sneezing again. Well, my lovable friends, thank you so much for watching. That is all we have got time for in this episode of The Artist Heart Live. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that helps them in their time of struggle. Give us a like. Put a comment in there. Show the channel some support, because it's the only way that YouTube recognizes our little show as something that people love and is growing. And you help us do that every single week by telling YouTube, by clicking that like button, by hitting that subscribe button. Do all the awesome things that you know you need to do. And folks, until next time, take care. God bless. Namaste. Have a phenomenal, safe week. It is the time for the weekend. Have a great one, my friends. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you same time, same place for more Artist Hat Live. God bless.